Hello, this is Ishmojuddin and welcome to my Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be doing J checkbox with an item listener. And uh, basically, uh, when we um, preview the J checkbox on a J frame, when we do click it or check it, it would uh, display the text. And then if we deselect it, it would do nothing. So yeah, that's summarized in a nutshell. So uh, I'm going to get started, import Java. We we'll start with swing imports and import Java AWT uh, for the for the layout. All right, so um, I'm gonna start with the constructor. Make sure you create your main method. Um, if you don't have it, it won't work <laughs> because um, your class must have a main method. Otherwise, yeah, it would complain like a uh, like a beach. You know the beach where we swim. <laughs> All right, so uh, J frame properties J frame. All right, I like to make things in order. So control space set layout uh, new flow layout. All right, not border layout flow layout. So when we add a component, it would go from you know left to right, and we when we keep adding, we just keep going. And, you know, it's not like border layout or grid layout. Uh, and uh, yeah, set size. Uh, 300 by 100 um, control space set uh, visible true this is controls the layout the size of the the window and you must make it visible if you do not make it visible you won't see it it will, it will just view it on eclipse and it will just terminate it for some odd reason anyways <laughs> one more thing set title set title Ishmael or Ismail in Arabic. All right, so um, private um, J checkbox. We're declaring the J checkboxes box C equals new J check box. And whatever you put between the parameters, going to label it. So uh, I'm going to go for mail. I know the other examples are with you know italic and you know fonts. I'm just going to do some text here. So C1 female. Change the capital M to lowercase. And uh, what else? Strings. String male and female. All right. So uh, yeah. So let's go back here. I'm going to add the components. Add C. Come here. Type it. Should copy and paste. All right. So. I know this is not a perfect example of male or female because then um, what if we select both? You know, there can't be a, a male and a female combined unless you're a dodgy person. <laughs> like there's people who do plastic surgeries or what have you. All right, so here is it. So when we select the male, um, yeah, this is just demonstration. I know it's not realistic to select both. And no! Uh, Sorry that I was disturbed, but yeah. So um, this not isn't this isn't a perfect example, but yeah, you can apply it for your if you're writing to a file or your project. Okay, so we go C, add item listener. In other tutorials, I did this, which um, this means that this object, which is C, and uh, we implement implements. But this tutorial, we're not going to be writing too much code, so I'm going to go new item listener. We go semicolon and we go there and curly braces and what? Yeah, Control Shift M. This just imports everything automatically for you. So you go over the text and Control Shift M. And I'm just going to do it again. So if I know I'm missing other imports called item event. So uh, oh, public void item state changed item event e although we're not going to be using it control shift m there it is did it for you all right <laughs> um if c is selected then we want to syso mail um c is mail yeah so syso Control space is a shortcut. So, you know, like, oh, she wants to do so much shortcuts. 
it's um it's the other way of calling me lazy so yeah um in real life if you wanted to um write it to a file you go mail equals mail as soon as it's checked okay um low case all right so uh, in other tutorial i did show you how to write to a file but this tutorial won't be doing it so yeah all right um else else if not selected that's why so blank and make sure you set mail equals blank and control space comment and yeah that's it um now we just want to apply it for the other checkbox let's go you know the usual copy and paste and actually let's fix it up a bit it looks messy um okay oh all right so just copy and paste and change this to c1 and c1 this for the and changes to female and yeah if you want to do it for the, the female you go female the uh, checkbox is used for like italic and uh, um i don't know question is if you like ishmael the d yes or no <laughs> all right um yeah so let's demonstrate that So we hit on female. Yes, it previews female. Where's my application gone? And uh, uncheck it. It didn't display female. If you do not do the else uh, statement, um, it will just preview female because it's upon clicking. So male shows male. And if you show both, oh, if you did print, <laughs> it would show the one line, which is dodgy. Yeah. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you understood everything. Basically, the item listener makes um, the event. When we click on it, it sets it to what we say. So yeah, um, yeah. so that's it for this tutorial. And uh, catch you later.